Scaramazzi with you. I have worked up quite an appetite right now. This is the moments that define WrestleMania and the moments that, uh, are gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> the appetite that'll get me in trouble. Um, this is day 14. Um, what a difference a whole long year makes in the WWE. We talked about the Add to Air heating up. This was the event that marked, I believe, the official, the signature stamp that the Attitude Era was around in WWE. Um, in the last 12 months, Bret Hart, gone because of the Montreal screw job. Shawn Michaels becoming WWE Champion. The Hart Foundation disbanded. They um, reformed after WrestleMania 13, but got disbanded because of the Hart situation. Degeneration X running wild. Stone Cold Steve Austin, as wild as ever. Vince McMahon done with commentary. You know him as the owner. I got some spit on the screen. Um, all of these things, The Rock becoming a bigger star also, all of these things bring us to WrestleMania 14. Sunday, March 29, 1998, from Boston, Massachusetts, the Fleet Center. Um, and what is one of the memorable WrestleManias because it um, brings the Attitude Era into um, into an epiphany. Uh, some notable moments coming out of here. Uh, all the matches are pretty good. All of them have something memorable to uh, look out for. Um, the Rock debuting his catchphrase in an interview with Jennifer Flowers. Uh, you smell what The Rock is cooking. Uh, the Rock and Ken Shamrock having one of many battles. Rock and Ken Shamrock. Shamrock for the Intercontinental Championship at this event. Shamrock initially won, but would not let the go of the ankle lock. The Rock, uh, ankle almost broken in the course of this event. Uh, he gets the belt. Triple H O and Hart European Championship. China throwing salt in the face of Sergeant Slaughter. Um, the dumpster match for the tag team titles won by Cactus Jack and Chainsaw Charlie. LOD, the Legion of Doom. A new era with Sonny, um, them opening up and winning a huge 15-team battle royal at WrestleMania 14. Um, if we get down to the nitty-gritty moments of this WrestleMania the way I see them, and I know there's quite a lot um, to think about. And one moment that's not so, uh, a notable moment that's not so memorable um, that you won't see on the home video of cassette, uh, you only see it live because... Um, Chris Warren and the Diaz band playing the most disgraceful um, at, got really booed in Boston, uh, America the Beautiful. Um, yeah, you might as well just stick to uh, doing Diaz's theme because uh, America the Beautiful uh, turned into America the uh, Heavy Metal Massacre. But um, we move on to the three moments that define this WrestleMania. Number three, a comic. Um, moment, Pete Rose, who is supposed to be hosting Monday Night Raw, um, today's the 14th, it's about nine days from now, I believe, uh, February, or eight days from now, February 20th, or March 22nd, excuse me, um, Pete Rose making his first of three straight WrestleMania appearances, and getting completely pwned, so to speak, by the big red machine, Kane. Pete Rose comes out. Um, was ready to ring announce the Undertaker versus Kane matchup. Um, makes fun of the people of Boston uh, for not winning a World Series. Then it would be another six years before the Red Sox would finally win one. But Kane comes out, and Kane certainly does not <laughs> like Beat Rose at all, as time will tell. Uh, Kane getting a tombstone on him, and the people of Boston go berserk for the big red machine, Kane. Kane involved in the second moment. The defining this WrestleMania, his match with The Undertaker. Kane showing up in Hell in a Cell, the first Hell in a Cell match with The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels. Um, in October at Bad Blood, Kane costing The Undertaker a shot at the WWE Championship Survivor Series. Um, Shawn Michaels, you know, moving on, becoming champion, and the brothers having a rivalry. Undertaker would not initially fight Kane. Um, at one point, we thought he would help out his brother, defeat Shawn Michaels of the Royal Rumble, but turn on him, burnt him inside the casket. Thus, it would lead 
to this match at WrestleMania, this epic match, The Undertaker, with an epic entrance. Um, Druids holding up the uh, torches, and The Undertaker making his gothic entrance into WrestleMania. This was uh, a match, brother versus brother again. They're not really brothers, but uh, brother versus brother. But in real life, they're not really brothers, but brother versus brother in this case. Um, the Undertaker trying to go over the top rope and uh, missed it, and he went through the Spanish announce table. Um, but The Undertaker would put away Kane after three tombstones and win the match. Uh, these two would fight again the next month in an Inferno match, a first time in the WWE, um, an Inferno match in The Undertaker. Uh, also winning that one. Number one in, on WrestleMania 14 in the moment that um, created a change for the company and marked the stamp again of the signature of the Attitude Era. The WWE Championship, my favorite match, Stone Cold Steve Austin. As JR says, the Austin Era has begun against Shawn Michaels, a heartbreak kid in the WWE Champion, Mike Tyson, the guest enforcer, he had sided with Shawn Michaels, Triple H, D-Generation, X. Um, overall, Shawn Michaels suffering a uh, back injury throughout the court. He had back injury um, for a little bit of time beforehand, but it was really aggravated in this match. This would be Shawn Michaels' last match in WWE until 2002. He would come back, um, provide the role of commissioner, of the company do some commentary um but overall it was his last in-ring competition in uh, wwe as a regular performer he came back four years later as for stone cold as wrestlemania 13 was the peak of his main event status this was his peak stone cold is the top guy in the wwe for 1998 for that time and he solidified it with his first wwe championship Mike Tyson coming in, a fast three count, unexpectedly the ref was knocked out, a stunner to Shawn Michaels, the three count, the fast three count, Mike Tyson punching out Shawn Michaels with a blistering right hand, and the people in Boston celebrating that night as the Attitude Era official in WWE. Great WrestleMania, one of the most memorable ones um, in terms of the time period and in terms of you know everyone just happy their hero stone cold steve austin full frontal and a star right there not a star in the making anymore austin 316 running wild he would do so 1998 and his war with vince mcmahon would uh would be fueled uh throughout the year and it, of course it's one of the centerpieces of the attitude era and it would move on to wrestlemania 15 and we'll talk about that as we start another work week, and we're two weeks away at WrestleMania 26, but we are still reflecting up until then. Skater Moxley, I'm going to finally eat now. <laughs> uh, didn't lose composure either. Um, so long, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow. WrestleMania 15.